I am now sponsored by SeatGeek and FanDuel. Make sure to use code BENGAL. That's code BENGAL for $20 off your first purchase on SeatGeek and $20 free to play when you sign up for FanDuel. Also, check out my Twitch for live streams, my second channel for other games. Both links are in the description. What's going on, guys? Bangle again here coming back at you with another video. And today, we are back on the Oilers franchise relocation expansion on Madden NFL 19. This, I guess, is the start of the series. You guys probably saw episode one if you're seeing episode two. Not sure how long the series is going to last. And if you guys did not see my Bengals Cinematic Universe video, the way I want this series to work, we'll have to see about the rest of them, is I want to incorporate guys that you guys have seen in 49ers franchise for Madden 18 and Giants franchise for Madden 19 and Ozark State Dynasty from NCAA 14. So on this team, you'll notice... Um, we have one player. That is Derek Higgins, cornerback from Ozark State, which is Wachita Baptist, uh, because that was like the only, it's kind of a random thing. And um, it, it, I wanted it to start with an O. And there's really no college that, that looks like Ozark State or sounds like it. I don't want to go Oklahoma State. I think that's too like mainstream. So uh, Ozark State equals Wachita Baptist which uh, Cliff Harris went to. He's pretty much the only notable alumni ever, a Cowboys safety uh, who played in the 70s. So you might be wondering, Derek Higgins, that's an Ozark State player, cornerback, and that was randomly generated, by the way. I went through a bunch of the different graduates of Ozark State that you guys have seen so far, and I put them in. So you have a lot of them on different teams. So uh, the Bears have one that would be Roland Francisco. He is a wide receiver, 73 overall. Um, of course, Wachita Baptist, a.k.a. Ozark State. The experience doesn't matter. The only thing that matters really is the age. Um, so, Roland Francisco graduated, I want to say, what year did he graduate? It was 20, I think it was. It would be the 2018 draft. So, he would have been in the league now for one year. And a guy like Colby Spencer, who would have been in the 2017 draft. Where is Colby Spencer? I want to say, not with the Broncos. I'll find it. Colby Spencer is with the Chargers. So he's an 80 overall. He's been in the league now for a couple years. I've made sure their contracts are all as they would be. Again, the experience doesn't matter. I tried to get it close uh, in most regards. He only has normal development. I think it's going to be interesting for him. So he has a four-year contract, which is or how rookie deals are set up. And he would be going into the third year of his contract. So he'll be under contract with the Chargers for the next two years before going into free agency. So Colby Spencer's a guy that's in here that you guys watch at Ozark State, the quarterback. He's been in the league now for a couple years. Who's another one? I think there's somebody on the Jets. I'm not sure it's a quarterback. I remember inputting somebody on the Jets, and that would be... Might not, not be a super high overall. Who would it be? I could have sworn. Ah, Chris Chase. Chris Chase is the guy. He's a 74 overall. Uh, 24 years old, which means he's either in his uh, second or third season. And I based all the overalls off of what they were at Ozark State. And then I gave it like a plus two or three based on how long they would have been in the league so far. So, I mean, there are a lot of really familiar names uh, that you guys would have seen in the series. Like Daryl Bradford's on a team somewhere. Uh, there are a lot of guys. We only managed to pick up Derek Higgins, which was actually pretty good because we did need a cornerback. Our cornerback depth was terrible. I'm trying to find... Our guy here, I don't know. They're, they're all, uh, you know, like kind of scattered around. Daryl Bradford is also on the Chargers, yeah. So, 25 years old means he's been in the league for two or three years now, whatever it would have been based on his senior season. He's a 79 overall, so these guys will be going into free agency. We'll be we'll be able to sign some of these guys. I gave Daryl Bradford star development, and uh, he is in the second year of his uh, four-year rookie contract. So again, not going to go through everybody, but there are a lot of guys around that you might recognize. Scott Lewis is in here. Kedrick Cunningham is in here. Some of these guys are in free agency because I figured that they wouldn't be able to make a team in a lot of instances based on their overall. So if we go to halfback here, I think we should find Kedrick Cunningham and Scott Lewis. So Scott Lewis is here. Experience 11, don't worry about it. He's only 22 years old. So that could be weird determining like when he actually retires. Um, who else is in here? I could have sworn we had, uh, 
Kedrick Cunningham. I may have missed it. There he is. Kedrick Cunningham, also Wachita Baptist. And if you click on a player like him, you will find that his ratings are that of a uh, receiver slash running back uh, and actually slash quarterback because he did play quarterback for a bit at Ozark State if you guys watch the Ozark State Dynasty. So he does have decent throwing numbers as well. I think they're like 60s and 70s. So nothing crazy, but he can do it, you know, on gadget plays or the emergency QB or whatever. So we're just going to rock out with Tyree Jackson. And the only player we managed to get was actually Derek Higgins, which was actually very, very lucky. Uh, I would have loved Daryl Bradford or Colby Spencer or Roland Francisco or Hunter Register. Any of these guys are all in here. Chris Chase, but we did get Derek Higgins. So I got to be thankful for what we did manage to get. But this is the team. If you guys did not watch episode one, I highly recommend watching it. Uh, we're really, really bad. I am playing because everyone's going to want to know the sliders. I'm playing on all pro. Basically what Mr. Hurricane uh, told me to run. I made slight, slight tweaks, but they're within one or two in most instances, except for interceptions, which I've turned up quite a bit. Um, and these are the sliders. If you guys want to run them yourself or recommend changes, I imagine it will be kind of difficult. It is all pro because all Madden is uh, just very frustrating to play. And I'm going to turn off injuries for the preseason simulation. And then we're going to jump in to week one. We are two and one so far in the preseason. I just want to check out some of the stats for the preseason. Uh, Blaine Gabbert was mainly our starting quarterback. Kind of a disaster, but he performed a little bit better than uh, Tyree Jackson. Adrian Peterson, we also have David Montgomery. I've changed around a lot of these numbers. I tried to um, get what they were wearing in college or close enough to what it might end up being. David Montgomery, three touchdowns, but the average wasn't very good. Anthony Ferkser out of Harvard. Tight end letter team in catches and yards. Although Emmanuel Hall had three touchdowns and only six catches blocking. Dennis Kelly, who starts for us, seems to be pretty terrible. And then defensively, Damon Buchanan led the way in terms of tackles, sacks. Three and a half for Sean Gary from defensive tackle. That's pretty good. And then interceptions, we have one for a number of different players, including rookies uh, Derek Higgins, Nasir Adderley. Not too bad. So our first matchup will be against the Oakland Raiders. And I can tell you that this series is going to work a little bit differently than the rest of my series have kind of worked in the past. So this is only going to be five minute quarters. I might bump it up to six or seven, but it's going to be shorter games uh, for the most part. I definitely don't want to do 10 minutes like I did with the uh, other franchise series I've done so far this year, which is actually just Giants franchise. A lot of these guys have upgrade points, though. You guys will familiarize yourself with the team, I assume, very, very quickly. Here is Nasir Adderley. He's got that red shooting sleeve, number 23. And uh, I'm going to just like, kind of just boost his coverage. So I think zone is going to work out fairly well for us. And he's got pretty good development as well. I think I gave him star. Yeah, I gave him star in the draft class. So people complain that I have too many like stars and superstars. There, There's like between zero and two for each position in the draft. And I think that's fair. Uh, and it, it, it spices up the class a little bit. Ed Oliver is one of the highest overall players in the class. He has superstar development. He is up to an 85 overall already. We were able to snag him at number six. That was fairly lucky. Keeping him in Houston, the Houston native, drafted now uh, to the Houston Oilers out of the University of Houston. So we're very H-Town based with Ed Oliver. There's Kamale Correa. And of course, B.W. Webb. I don't know how he's on the team. But here he is. Hopefully not for long. Uh, I'm itching to get to the offseason. And it should be fun. I think the series is going to be very, very enjoyable. Play with the rookies. Play against the rookies. Play against some players. Let's go ahead and check out the Raiders and see if we're going to recognize any new faces. We got Derek Carr. I'm wondering who they drafted. So Benny Snell out of Kentucky they have. I wonder if they have any Ozark State players. It looks unlikely. That they do. I wonder who their first round pick was. Cleachio Semley, Rodney Hudson, of course, Gabe Jackson, Brandon Parker is their starting right tackle. Pretty bad. Noah Spence. They've got Brent Urban, Arden Key, of course, Maurice Hurst, PJ Hall, Eddie Vander does. Super high recruit to UCLA, Mark Kelly. Jalen Jelks, they drafted. They have TJ Edwards out of Wisconsin. Right outside linebacker is to here Whitehead. Who did they draft with their first pick? Got Gary and Conley. DeAndre Baker probably would have been their first round pick. 
their third cornerback. They have Anthony Harris, Marcus Gilchrist, Carl Joseph, Jordan Richards. So they have no Ozark State players. And their rookie first round pick would have been DeAndre Baker. Interesting. The Raiders only a 75 overall. Here's the problem. We are only a 67 overall. This one might not go that well. We'll have to see how all pro plays with the adjusted sliders. Hopefully pretty well. Now I do have to say, I do not like how Houston is H-U-S. I really don't. Why not just do H-O-U? I think everyone would know that's Houston. It's Travis Benjamin returns it. I don't like H-U-S even at all. I'm not a fan. Not a fan at all. And I, I did say I really want to run a lot of 5-2. In this sub package, Rashawn Gary is playing on the edge. I guess we'll use her Dale Buchanan. And uh, there's Marshawn Lynch who's wrapped up in the backfield. That is a really, really nice tackle by number 31. Again, we're going to familiarize ourselves with the team. But uh, I assume it's going to be a little bit slow at first. I don't know who number 31 might have been there. Justin Bethel, maybe? I, I don't know. And that's going over the middle and nearly intercepted again by number 31 in on the play. Intended receiver on the play was Jared Cook, but man, coverage seems to be working okay so far. Who is 31? That is Terrence Brooks. Okay. Our starting strong safety as Dayon Buchanan has man coverage on Travis Benjamin. We're going to try and use her that and shut that down. It's been a while since I played, and Jared Cook over the middle picks up the first down. Couldn't redirect in time. And Oakland converts on third and long. Brutal. I do really like these uh, Houston Oilers away uniforms, I'll tell you, though. As we're going to try to shoot the gap, it's play action. Get back. Pressure's coming in. Car breaks two sacks. And he can't escape the third. That is Romeo Aquara. Two Houston Oilers missed sacks on that. We sent a lot of heat, and we got in there very, very quickly. We'll see Derek Carr drop back here. And that is pressure coming in. From Romeo Aquara initially who gets thrown off. Then it's Kamale Correa who gets thrown off. And then Romeo Aquara coming again. Uh, finishes the sack in front of Stefan Anthony. Gotta love a relentless defensive line. Haven't even showcased 5-2 yet. As Marshawn Lynch gets a carry, breaks a tackle, and picks up 6 on a pretty decent gain there. Looks like they're just content with a punt, perhaps. So we're finally breaking out the 5-2. I just want to see how it'll play. So Rashawn Gary, Ed Oliver, Hassan Ridgeway, Romeo Aquara with Kamale Correa on the edge. We have Scooby Wright, the third in the middle. And we're just going to play defense on that and stop the completion as the intended receiver was the running back out of the backfield, Marshawn Lynch. And Oakland, after a pretty bad start, will punt. That is Johnny Townsend, the punter. And uh, we're going to return it with Debo Samuel, the rookie out of South Carolina. It's all right to the 27 and we get to see what the offense might look like our starting running back is going to be adrian peterson but you're going to see david montgomery quite a lot tyree jackson we got debo samuel kelvin Harmon, both rookies on that left side johnny smith is our starting tight end and we are going to roll out with tyree jackson throw on the run and put it over the head of the running back adrian peterson that would have been a really nice play but we're not playing ncaa it's not going to work Try to get some positive yardage here. I don't really want this slant there, but I'll take it on that occasion, and it's picked off by Gary and Conley. No, that's not a great start for the offense, and he's actually going to take it down to the four-yard line. I thought we had a step, and we went at their best defensive back, arguably, and he just stepped right in front of it. Not great. Not great at all. That looked open to me. It st I still does. I would have thrown it again. Here's a run up the middle. Marshawn Lynch has the end zone. Scooby Wright couldn't overpower him. He gets overpowered in beast mode. Capitalizing on a Garyon Conley interception. We're going to try throwing again. And uh, that's open. And it's totally not accurate at all. And it's another interception. The intended receiver on the play was Jonu Smith. And as he had a tendency to do at the University of Buffalo... Tyree Jackson airmails one, and it's going the other way again. It's going to be play action, and that is completed to Jared Cook. Terrence Brooks is there to bring him down, but Brooks got cooked by Cooks. 
Hate to see it. It's going to be a run up the middle. Marshawn Lynch powering through. Picks up a nice gain there of seven or eight. Here's another run. It's actually a play action, and that is wide open in the flat. It's John Kuhn, the big fullback. We got Derek Higgins there, the Ozark State alum there to make the tackle. This 5-2 is not working out so well for me right now. We need more defensive line personnel. I mean, big play action there. Going back in the end zone. And that would have been a touchdown, but Jared Cook drops it. We catch a break. Unlike Jared Cook. Going to the running back. Actually, that's Jared Cook out of the flat. Looked like he lined up as an H-back. Just picked him up. I think he was lined up in the backfield. But it will be third down and seven. Two tight end set. Two wide receivers wide left. And of course the running back Lynch is in the backfield. And he will be motioned out wide right. Somebody pick him up. And we're going. Trying to user it. And Scooby Wright knocks it out at the last second. Fantastic defense to stop a touchdown. Taking away two routes over the middle. That was tough. And it works out. Oakland will end up getting a field goal. I'm sure this one will go in. But at least it's not another touchdown. We're going to be down 10 zip. Not a great start for this expansion Oilers team. Here's Carlos Henderson. The return man. He takes it out to the 35. That's a pretty good return. Let's try running the ball a little bit. I don't know if we're going to be able to lean on Tyree Jackson. He's a little bit inconsistent. We'll see what David Montgomery can bring to the table. How about a spin back? And a good gain of five or six for David Montgomery's first career NFL carry. And Montgomery was a really versatile player at Iowa State. Probably looked to throw him the ball a lot as uh, we're just sucked up right there. It will be third and two. Montgomery will stay in the game on third and short. We're going to hand him off the ball. And there is a gap opened up. Montgomery lowering the shoulder, breaking a tackle. Picking up the first down. His NFL start has been incredible. Three rushes, 16 yards. Can't really ask for too much more. We're going to look to throw. And I don't really like anything, but that's wide open. And it's actually delivered this time to Kelvin Harmon, the rookie out of NC State. And Tyree Jackson finally completes one to our team. He is two to the other team. First and 10. Pressure coming in. I don't really like anything. And we're just going to take off with Tyree Jackson and pick up only a couple. Didn't really like much. Is this a blitz here? I might want to slant. Might go Carlos, uh, Carlos Henderson pretty quick. It's not a great route, but we got him. Carlos Henderson. Big gain inside the five. We're cooking now. And that is the two-minute warning. We might bump it up to six or seven minute quarters. But we're going to try a wide receiver end around here to Debo Samuel. He gets the handoff, and we are sucked up behind the line. Not fantastic. Couldn't quite get the edge. End zone. Carlos Henderson can't hold on. He was open. The pass wasn't where it needed to be. It's a missed opportunity. It's going to be third and six. I should say third and goal from the six. We might just run the ball here and try to take our points. Here's David Montgomery, and uh, he gets nothing. Didn't want to risk an interception. We're just gonna, we're just gonna settle. We're gonna settle for points here. Kick is up and good. What a hold from Blaine Gabbert. Is that Jake Elliott who kicks it through? We are down 10-3 to here at the end of the second quarter. And again, I think we're going to move it up to seven minutes probably. The five-minute quarters go by really, really quickly, especially when you're running the ball a little bit. But we'll see if we can stop the Raiders from scoring in this final minute and a half. I like 5-2 because it gives us an opportunity to get Nasir Adderley single high. And I think that's where he's going to excel for us quite a bit as we're trying to cover way too many options. And that's Marshawn Lynch out of the backfield. Couldn't quite get there with Scooby Wright. He just doesn't have the athleticism, man. We need somebody else there. Enter Dayon Buchanan in the 5-2. It's going to be a run. Somebody get there. Rashawn Gary Camp and Ed Oliver swallows it up from behind. Lynch still picks. 
We've got a lot of athleticism on this defense, though. A lot of athleticism. A lot of young talent. We'll see if we can make something happen here. Terrence Brooks on the blitz. Trying to get in there. Car thrown to the flat. And that is too fast for Adam Humphreys. Third and seven. This would be a big stop here. We're going to play over the middle. And that is complete to Jordy Nelson. We completely whiff. He's got an easy first down. And Raiders are going to call a timeout. How am I not there for that? We are sending some real heat here. Second and 10. Carr goes down in the backfield. That's Dayum Buchanan on the blitz from that inside linebacker spot. Third and 16. As the Raiders call a timeout, we're going to get out of 5 2 in this spot. There's not a good situation for it. Clock is still ticking. Not really going to bother calling timeouts here. Depends how this play goes. Third and 16. They're going to go short to Lynch, and I whiff on the hit stick. And Marshawn's got the first down. I'm back to my old ways. Love it. So these sliders obviously make it uh, way more difficult than default all pro. But I'm shocked at how the Raiders have managed to move the balls. We're going to switch on with Rashawn Gary. Carr breaks the sack and fumbles the ball. Ed Oliver brought him down and forced it out. That's a Houston Oilers recovery. Although there's not enough time to do anything with it. Thank you, Ed Oliver. Derek Carr is breaking a whole lot of sacks early. I am not a fan. Take it with David Montgomery. And uh, that will be the end of the first half. 10-3 in favor of the Raiders. We gotta turn this one around. Thankfully, we get to start with the football. Kevin White now on the field for the first time. The ex-West Virginia and Chicago Bear. And we got that, that's open. That's open. Tyree Jackson hits him in stride, it's Kevin White. The ex first round draft pick of the Chicago Bears and he is into the end zone for the touchdown shades of West Virginia. Without injury, what might Kevin White have been? We're going to find out this season as he is uh, one of our best wide receivers and we are on the board with the first touchdown back with the Houston Oilers. 10-10. That, that was fast. That's a good tackle. Thank you. Marshawn Lynch has had a pretty decent game so far. He's been tough to wrap up, especially uh, after the catch. But that's Romeo Aquara says no. Car going sideline. It's picked off by Justin Bethel. That's a great block as well by Derek Higgins. Bethel down the sideline. He spins and gets a foot out of bounds. But that is a great play by a great special teamer in Arizona the past several years. And now... Good opportunity to start making the most of it with an interception. And we are now in key striking distance. Handoff's going to go to David Montgomery. We're going to find the space. Pick up about four. Oh, David Montgomery. What a move. Again, we're seeing what this type of a player did in college. Breaking tackles behind the line to find some positive yardage. This is going to be a fantastic addition to this Houston Oilers squad. Slant. Touchdown, Kelvin Harmon. He gets his first career touchdown. We are cooking now. We are finding it. The defense is playing well. The offense is playing well. We're going to take a 17-10 lead over John Gruden and the Oakland Raiders. Still a lot of time left, though. Got halfway through the third quarter. Got the entire fourth quarter to play. But we're looking good. We got to continue to carry this momentum throughout the rest of the game. And we're going to be golden. Oh, what a play. Is that Justin Bethel again? It is number 30. He rips it out on third down and 10. Going to force fourth down and 10 and an Oakland Raider punt. Wouldn't have been a first down anyway, but he's not allowing any catches today. We're going to take a shot deep. That's why we have Tyree Jackson. Dropping it in the bucket for Kelvin Harmon, who can't hold on. Oh my god, that's a perfect pass. And Kelvin Harmon drops it. That is unfortunate. I just realized why we're not HOU. I think it's because of the Houston Texans. And there has to be some sort of a variation there, I suppose. As we're trying to escape there, and we're just going to throw it away. It's going to be third and ten. This is third and long. Not sure how we're going to be able to convert this one. 
We're just going to check down and see if Montgomery can make something of it. And he does. David Montgomery first down. There we go. Take what's there. Take what the defense gives you. That's open. There we go. Carlos Henderson holds on. Okay. He's impressed me today. Underneath. Debo Samuel. Can you outrun him? Not quite. That's going to take us to the end of the third quarter. We're getting that momentum, though. We're getting going. I like it. Let's make it 24-10 to 10 and, uh, and close this game, this game off. We're going to check down. Debo Samuel. Turn it up field. Broke a tackle. Maybe picked up a first down. Getting Debo involved. Oh, no. We had circle trying to throw to it. That was Debo Samuel underneath, but DeAndre Baker gets the sack. I don't really like anything that's open right here. I'm going to throw that down, and that is going to be uh, right to Jonu Smith, who has it, I don't know, bounce right off his hands. Okay. We're going outside. That's open. And we get it through. It's Debo Samuel. He breaks a tackle and is down inside the five at the three. How do you not cover that? They're really stacking the box. It's going to be difficult to run the ball, but we have David Montgomery. Might be able to handle it. And David Montgomery breaks a tackle and finds the end zone. Fantastic power showcased by the rookie. Questionable celebration skills. But we're going to go up by two touchdowns. 24-10. Give me a run. Get in there. Oh, what a tackle. That's Stefan Anthony. Marshawn has really been shut down here in the second half. Looks like Beast Mode is only turned on in the first half. That's what it appears to be. And that's a slant over the middle. And the hit sticks are not working, man. I don't... I'm not locking on at all. That's open in the flat. Just wrap up. We can't. And Marshawn looks like spins out of a tackle for the first down. No, give me second in inches. Okay. And that is also going to be the two-minute warning. It's going to be a screen. Get over there, Stefan. There we go. All right. Oakland's got to score really, really quickly. Time is ticking away very, very quickly. That's open over the middle. We left it. Terrence Brooks couldn't get over in time. And, uh, I mean, they're, they're picking us apart. Oh, they're going to the end zone. And it's picked off by the rookie out of Delaware, Nasir Adderley. In his debut. That's what I'm talking about. And that's what you call the dagger, the game ender. It is over okay David okay David Montgomery nice gain of 10 they're calling timeouts that's cool I think it's too little too late uh, Adrian Peterson yet to carry it didn't really go well and it's now third and 11 but you know what this is what you guys came to see you're like does he still have it can he still punt at a high level? Is Bengals still the best punter on YouTube? I don't know. I don't know. You tell me. Okay. Against the wind. Nine miles per hour in my face. Down to the 26. <laughs> Do I still have it? Interception. User pick. Easy reads. Green eggs and ham. Did you miss it? Stefan Anthony. Get in the end zone. User pick six. That's the dagger. And that is the ball game. And John and Gruden, or John Gruden's expression kind of tells the story there. The Raiders did not bring it. They did not bring it today. But we performed pretty well. A couple changes I will make, which is uh, turning up the time just a little bit. We'll see how that plays. I'm not going to mess with the sliders right now. Uh, this was a really bad team. And it's not like we dominated them. They still averaged almost six yards per play. Uh, we were just a little bit better. They made a couple mistakes. So I don't I don't want to tweak with the sliders just yet. Uh, obviously, you saw some bad Tyree Jackson misses at the beginning of the game. Two touchdowns, two interceptions. So 192. I mean, it wasn't a terrible debut. David Montgomery overall was solid. Adrian Peterson only got a carry. I like David Montgomery a lot. He's going to be a really fun player to use in this in this series. Uh, let's just take a look at the Oilers here. Debo Samuel, three catches for 45 yards, but the touchdowns were for Kelvin Harmon 
and Kevin White. You're not really going to see a ton of yards or catches in this franchise due to the nature of the time. Blocking, we didn't allow a sack, so we were golden in that department. Justin Bethel had a fantastic game, in my opinion. Interception, tackle for loss, a couple of pass breakups in there, even if it doesn't show on the stat sheet with the deflection. It looks like it, it may have, though. Interceptions for Stefan Anthony. Nasir Adderley, who I think was fantastic over the top as well. Bethel was great. No forced fumbles. Actually, you know what? Ed Oliver did have the strip sack, and that was recovered by Rashawn Gary. So the rookies were phenomenal today. Absolutely fantastic. I think this was a... It was a fun game to play, man, and that's where I want to be. If I'm having a fun time enjoying myself on Madden 19, it's going to be a lot more of a fun franchise. And, of course, as you can see, the score summary, it was not, you know, a blowout from minute one. We really exploded in the second half, and we just torched them. But we were down going into the second half. So maybe we're just a second-half team. I'll take it. I don't think we blew them out, even though it is 31-10. to 10. Not going to touch the sliders just yet, but I want to thank you guys so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Take it easy.